What's up guys, it's McNulty here and we are back today with another Hero Breakdown. Uh, this is the Hero of the Month for November. It's the 1st of November and with a new month we have a brand new Hero of the Month. So this guy's name is Morax. He's a dark hero and he looks amazing. I love the art. It's uh, kind of a Grim Reaper crossed with a ninja. Uh, something like that um, so he's back from the dead and he is of the sorcerer class sorcerer class is a great class of only a 15 percent chance but it does reduce the mana generation of the attacker by 50 percent for two turns which can be pretty annoying he's of the 2022 legends family which won't be active for another two months so we'll find out what bonus they have and he has two passives. So the first passive is Mana on Health Boosting Special Skill. So this character gains 5% mana each time an enemy casts a special skill that boosts health. So, I mean, if you've got a health booster and there's plenty of them around, if they cast or fire off their special, Morax is gonna get 5% mana every time they do. So I do like that, that's a pretty good um, passive. His other passive is that he resists mana generation ailments. So this character has innate resistance against status ailments and negative stacks that affect mana generation, but it doesn't apply to status ailments that stop mana generation or that steal mana generation. So this can be quite complex, um, basically having a bit of a think about it before doing this he would this would come into effect against heroes like hell for example uh, where she fires off and the hero it says the hero can't gain mana uh, with morax he'll still be able to gain mana or proteus who's a similar hero uh, but against heroes like mickey or heroes like tetuk that silence um, this effect is not going to come into play so it is quite selective, so you need to really know uh, who you're going up against and whether that's going to apply. Now moving on to his stats, he's got 764 attack, 766 defense, and 1431 health. So he's pretty balanced across the attack and defense stats. Yeah, he's a bit lower than some of the other massively you know boosted event heroes and challenge heroes and uh, costume heroes that we've been looking at recently but for a hero of the month those stats are actually pretty good now moving on to his special skill which is called the scythe of sorceries he deals 400 percent damage to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies so he's going to deal 400% damage to the target and minor, which is 50% of that. So 200 to nearby enemies. And the target is going to get negative 24% mana generation for four turns. He also reduces the health of the target's nearby enemies by 400. So the wording of this is quite specific. It's not the target's health that's reduced, it's the target's nearby enemies by 400. The max health can't get lower than 30% of the original max health. And his element link gives all dark allies immunity to new fiends for four turns. And this effect cannot be dispelled. So just going over his special skill, the 400% damage to the target and minor to nearby enemies is very similar to somebody like Richard from Season 1. He's 415 to the target and minor to nearby. Um, as far as, I think, Zagrog was the other one that I was thinking of. He's 430 and then minor to nearby, but he's got the chance to bypass as well. So it's a pretty big hit. I mean, at 764 attack, if you level him up, he is definitely going to do some damage, and on the back of that, he gives that negative 24% mana generation to the target. But the biggest part I love about his special is this other part where he reduces the maximum health of the target's nearby enemies by 400. So 
even though he's hitting them for 200% damage, at the same time, he's also going to drop their health by 400. So I would assume that 200% damage is probably maybe around 300-ish to a fully leveled hero, maybe a bit less than that. But the additional 400 makes his hit to the other enemies just as hard. So you could look at this guy as a hit three hero. He just hits three in a slightly different way than some other heroes do. So in summary, I like this hero. I think that he can be excellent if paired with a hero that boosts health because he's going to increase his mana generation from that. And he could also be quite frustrating because he's reducing uh, the mana generation of his target and decreasing um, the health. So you're going to need to plan if you're going up against him, you might need to bring a health booster and somebody who boosts mana or cleanses. So he's going to be a little bit tricky to face. And I do like Morax, definitely a better hero of the month than our previous month. Um, so if you do get him, you can consider yourself lucky. I'd say that he is definitely worth leveling, leveling up if you need a hard hitter in the purple element. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I wish you all of the best in your summons. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you all again in the next video.